In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a solar filter so that you can protect your lens when capturing photos of a solar eclipse. So before I get started here, two things that I do want to highlight as a warning. Be sure that when you're taking images of the sun that you don't look at it directly unless you've got proper eye protection. Additionally, don't point your camera at the sun either without a filter on as you don't want the sensor to end up like an ant under a magnifying glass. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, this is just going to be a simple DIY filter. Uh, it's going to have some filter paper sandwiched between two pieces of cardboard that are taped together and then we're going to glue on a ring on the outside here to help this hold on to your lens. So there's a handful of things that you're going to need to be able to make this. Uh, one, you're going to want the lens that you're going to use so that you can use the outside of it to take the measurements on your cardboard. The next thing, you're going to need to go over to Amazon or anywhere else that sells this and you're going to want to purchase solar filter film. I've got some links down below and you're going to want to buy the right size that's going to cover the diameter of the outside of your lens. Go ahead and look in here. Um, so it's going to come in a little package like this to help protect it. And inside of here we're just going to make sure that we've got um, a nice clean looking filter. Um, and this one we do. So we're going to go ahead and close this back up and we'll use this again here in a minute. The next thing that you're going to need to be able to do this is cardboard. Um, this one I'm just going to use an old Amazon box for to help me cut out the shapes that I need. And then it's going to be helpful if you have a razor or you can also use scissors. And then the method that I use just uses some standard um, office tape. Now once you've got all that you're going to need some super glue to help glue the ring on around the edge. And for mine I just like to go a little beefier around the edge uh, like you can see here and just use some Gorilla Glue to help hold this on. So let's go ahead and get started with the building. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and make sure that the piece of cardboard you got is gonna fit around your lens. Um, this one is pretty much exactly the right size. I'm gonna go ahead while I've got this here and just mark off a little bit so that I know how far I need to go cut. Um, I'm gonna always recommend cutting a little bit wider than you actually need to. So that's gonna give me a good line there. And then I'm just going to use um, the edges here to go ahead and cut the rest of this. Um, so it's a little bit more difficult than what I would have liked to have gotten that off. You'll also notice I've got a piece of cardboard down here so that I don't damage the tabletop that I'm working on. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the same piece that I just cut. Um, I'm going to use this as a template to cut out my next piece. So at this point, I'm going to throw this over to the side for right now. And um, I am gonna come back to this to cut my one inch strip. So for this part, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take one of these, lay it flat here. And for this one, I decided I wanna leave the lens uh, hood on here. Um, that'll give me a little bit more room for uh, having something to attach it to. And I also don't want this ring to accidentally get bumped whenever I have the uh, filter cover on. So what I'm going to do here is just try to place this about as centered as I can. And I'm just going to go ahead and mark around here. If you like this video so far, please be sure to smash the like button down below. Also, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel so that you'll be the first to know when new videos get uploaded. So once you've gotten cut all the way through, you can go ahead and just pop that center circle out. I mean, I do recommend holding onto that because what we can do at the end is actually make a, um, a little cover so that you can protect this for in the future. So we'll throw that off to the side. And then what I want to do is just double check that uh, this does fit and that it's got a nice snug fit. So you can tell it was a little too snug in that direction. Um, that's okay. But there we go. Um, that's more what I'm looking for there. And then now I'm going to use this as my template to cut out this second piece. So we almost made it through there. Um, this packaging that was on the outside did kind of make it a little bit harder. Um, but let's just go ahead and make sure that we get this cut out. Got just a little bit more to go through here. We're almost done. All right, so now that we've got the cardboard cut out and we've got a circle going on here, 
Now let's go ahead and take one of these pieces. I'm gonna use this one since it's a little bit cleaner. I will go ahead and start with that. Um, and what I wanna do here, just being extra careful with this filter film, is I want to go ahead and figure out about how much I need of it. Um, so you can see there, uh, I'd say that's about a half an inch overlay um, that I've got of the film. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is take my scissors and I'm gonna go ahead and trim a little bit of this off because I don't need all of it. All right, so now you can see I've got a nice border um, that goes around uh, the edge of the film. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some tape and we're gonna lay this flat and we're just gonna tape this down a little bit. All right, so the filter's now in place. Um, one thing you'll notice, this is the, uh, the shiny reflective side. This is actually gonna be the side that you'll point towards the sun. Um, and on the opposite side, it's actually black. And then what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and try to get this as lined up as I possibly can. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna just hold this together. Got that now, um, I can tell just by kind of feeling around here that my edges are pretty closely lined up, so I'm good with that. Um, and what I'm gonna do now, uh, just to my liking, is I'm gonna go ahead and just super glue these edges together. But I'm just gonna finish gluing this up around here. Um, and then we'll be done with this portion and we'll actually have a filter uh, that could be used at this point. So the next thing um, that we're gonna do here is we're gonna go and create this ring that'll go around it. Um, all this is is about a one inch to maybe one and a half inch uh, wide piece of um, cardboard. Um, and what that's gonna do is help hold this uh, filter snug onto the outside of your lens. You remember we saved these couple of pieces uh, in order to cut out um, and able to be able to close this back up. Um, so this one just happened, you know, this one goes on this side. So I need to drop the lens in there to be able to take a measurement. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this in. Um, this is just basically gonna give us a flat surface to work with. It's also gonna protect our filter in case there's any more of the super glue sitting around. Um, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and actually place this in here. And when I say place it, I'm actually gonna make it fit inside of the cardboard. So what I need to do next is I've got this uh, roughly one inch wide strip of cardboard. And I'm gonna wrap it around um, the actual lens. So I don't need to go completely all the way around. Um, I'm more worried about getting this snug more than anything else. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna tack it with some super glue. All right, so since we're at this stage, um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is make basically um, a little filter cover for this side. So you already know this one fits in based on that barcode. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this in here. Um, it can be a little tight, uh, but we'll get that dropped in there. I've got my little square here. And I'm just gonna fold this in half. All right. And then like we're doing everything else, we're just gonna super glue this one in. Um, put some glue here on the back, press this down you should be able to get enough force off of this little tab to be able to pop your uh, your cover off. So we're gonna let that one go ahead and dry. So at this point, what we can do is we can actually make this thing a little bit tinier. Um, when you're out in the field, you know, this can basically act like a sail on your lens and you don't want your lens shaking around a lot. Uh, so what we can actually do, is so we can just go around the scissors and we can go ahead and just cut this down where we don't have the corner out here. All right, so you might be watching this and saying, well, I don't wanna go through the effort of making one of these. So I've also dropped a link down um, in the description. There are some filters that you can buy online that come pre-made. Uh, the issue that I have with those is just 
finding the right size that'll fit my lens. So just be aware of that. Um, that might be the hardest part of it. So at this point, uh, the last thing left to do here is to use the Gorilla Glue. And what I'm gonna do is just get the Gorilla Glue set. Um, and then it's gonna take overnight more than likely to let this stuff foam up all the way. So that's all that I need um, for that. What I'm doing right here is I'm just using a straw to add water to the Gorilla Glue to help activate it. All right, so I'm gonna just let that sit overnight and we'll watch it foam up. Now that the Gorilla Glue is dry, the filter is ready to use and you're now set for a solar eclipse. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As the video is ending, you can see the images that I captured of the 2023 annular eclipse. If you like this video, please be sure to let me know down below by smashing the like button. Also, if you have any questions or steps that you didn't quite understand, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back as quick as I can. As always, I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next video.